Um, well, God does want me to share with you what exactly it is I do on my walk, so here goes. One of the ways I start is by praising my Father, I just thank you. You are so awesome. You are so mighty. You're so glorious. I love you with all my heart, mind, body, soul, and strength. And I love my neighbor as myself. Father, you are so good, Father. I just thank you. I praise you and I worship you. I start thinking about a scripture uh, today. The scripture that he's put on my heart is um, uh, how Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power and went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Okay, so I start meditating and thinking on that. Um, so God showed me that scripture after somebody um, said to me, you know, we can't do signs and wonders, only God can do it because it's God. Well, he showed me that scripture and he said, how Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power. Well, God isn't going to anoint God with any more God because God is all God, so he doesn't need any more God. So if God anointed Jesus, which is God, if Jesus came to earth as God, not as man, then God couldn't anoint, anoint Jesus anymore because he was already God. See my point? So I meditate on how Jesus anointed God, I mean how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power, and the Holy Spirit is God. So you have God anointing God with God. Okay, God couldn't do that because God can't give any more of God out. God is God. He doesn't need any more God. Then I start meditating on uh, James. James says that, um, don't say that you're tempted because of God, because God can't be tempted and God don't tempt. Okay, and then I go and uh, God brings up the scripture to my mind that says, um, in the beginning of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, whichever one it was, that Jesus um, was led into the spirit, led into the wilderness by the spirit and was tempted of the devil. He was tempted by the devil um, after he fasted for 40 days and nights. And if Jesus was God and came to the earth as God, <clears throat> and James just said that God can't be tempted, that right there shows you that Jesus came to earth as a man in right relationship with God. Okay, whoa, let's hold it right here. Um, let me uh, clarify something. Jesus was and is God, but when he came to earth, he came uh, as a man in the flesh of a man and put aside all his godly attributes. So, okay, back to the video. So I look at that scripture, and I just think about those scriptures, and then I take, uh, go back to Acts 10, 38, excuse me, and which says that, you know, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power, and he went around doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And I start meditating on that, how God anointed Jesus with what? With the Holy Spirit and power. And then I realized, okay, the scripture says, receive ye the Holy Spirit. And he breathed on him. And it also says, wait till you receive the Holy Spirit. You'll be endued with power. And I think of scriptures that say, as he is, so are we in this world. And scriptures that say that we are one body with Jesus. That we are joined. That we are together. We are one. And I put these scriptures together and just think about them and meditate them. And one scripture leads to another scripture, leads to another scripture, leads to another scripture. And what I do is I just repeat the scripture out loud and pause at each one and think about each word in the scripture. And, uh, and it begins to, other scriptures that I've read before come to mind and, and line up with it and become, uh, begin to give me a revelation and God starts talking to me about it. I'm Robin Beamer and I'm out.